Hello everyone, welcome back to Heavy Rain. Last time we went through the third trial and Ethan had to cut the third section of his finger and it was as it's saying, as it sounds. Uh, I think now the first trial is uh, the biggest challenge so far. Basically the origami killer told Ethan that he has to kill someone in order to save his son. I am so conflicted about this, I have no idea what to do. I was trying to think about it in between episodes and you know, doing that, basically we are playing into the killer's hand and we are doing something terrible. But at the same time I'm thinking about Sean, I don't want him to die. So I'm so conflicted, I haven't made my mind about what to do. And I think once I get to that section of the game, I'll have to decide right there because I have no idea. This gets me so conflicted. Uh, that aside, Shelby made an interesting progress, Shelby and Lorraine I should say as they try to talk the, to the store owner of that, you know, typewriter store. And apparently we got very, very close because moments later, mysteriously, the store owner got murdered. So definitely the killer was nervous about us, you know, snooping around there. And I think he got very close. So yeah, that's our leads right now. Let's see how it continues. Here we go. Thursday, 11.15 a.m. 3.366 inches. Oh no. We are starting with that. I have no idea what to do. As I said, I have no idea what to do. I don't want to do this. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. If you want to score, man, I think I can do fucking it. Fucking call first. Come on, beat it. I just couldn't do it. I think I have to. The game wants me to do so. I could not do it. It felt like if I'm pushing the button, he, you know, using the gun, aiming at him. I. For what? I should get out of here. There's no other way around it. I don't it. like Fuck off. Hey. Okay. This was not me. I did not Take push anything. Easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. I think I can do it. What do you want? Dope? Bunny? Tell me what you need. You sure we can make a deal, huh? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, now I think we have to do it. Okay, now I think I have to do it. Missed. I missed. Oh my god. Here you go. <laughs> he was armed. That's a powerful shotgun he got. Oh, look at the door. That's a powerful shotgun. Ooh. Damn. Oh. He's out. Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Wait a minute, wait a minute, here's a thought. Here's a thought, bear with me. I think the killer said in the letter, send me a picture of the guy dead or something. What if there's an option to offer him to pose as dead for the picture? Is there a chance or am I being naive here? I don't know. Dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Can you pose for a picture? Please don't kill me. I got children. These my girls, see. This one, Sarah. I'm not killing him. I, I don't think I cannot. That's Cindy. Please. But Sean, I don't know what to do. I want to see them again. Wow, I've never Please. been so conflicted in a video Please game before. Shoot. But I'm tending to not do it, as you probably. I'm not gonna do it. I'm a father too. 
But I'm no killer. Take a picture of him, you know, passed out, maybe. The killer will believe it. What will happen to Sean now? Did I just, you know, doomed Sean? This game, this is... It's crazy. I don't know what are the results of my Man, actions. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical Wait, register. What? Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Baker? Talk to you later. Oh, maybe I'm... I'm forgetting that we met Baker before. I don't remember... A character named Baker. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much oh. of a lead, but it's all I've got. Oh. Well done, Madison. Well done. Let's hear her thoughts. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. All right. Here we go. Well done, Madison. She's proactive right now. As if she wasn't helpful already, now she's doing some investigating. Hello. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Bitropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Lie. Hold Lies. on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, can Yeah. You? Made sense. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are oh, you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, I'm good. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I don't know why, I'm kind of nervous. Don't know the guy, don't have a reason to trust him. Technically, he could be I the origami killer. I've seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Ooh. Check, uh, <laughs> didn't press anything in time. Don't be shy. I'm not going. Not to a good mind. way to start. I have to be more focused. Apartment? I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around marble. We're going Street. really straightforward here. You will suspect something now. That was too direct, I think. Not very clever of us. You're not drinking? No, I told you I don't want to. I am... Um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. His body language, something... It doesn't feel right. He's suspecting something. That gives me the creeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Sounds like an idea. 
Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. Quick. Should go fast. I gotta find something. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Noise? Like a sound. Hmm. He's near. Dad, went too fast. I went too fast. Probably made a lot of noise. I'm screwed. Could the doc be the origami killer? It's possible. Something I don't have, you know, a reason to think he is, but I also don't have a reason to cross him off my list, you know? Let's go slow. Should be very quiet. More thoughts? He seemed to be upset that I wouldn't drink. Yeah. I get the feeling I did the right thing. Exactly. Ah! little ferret. Shit. We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. Oh my god. Psychopath. Damn. Ah, say hello to Matthew. He oh my God! He come to the senses. Another one of those goddamn government spies. Oh my God! So you're interested in my Marble Street apartment? Uh, what can I do around here? I rented to my friend Paco. If you must know, I have no idea what he does there. Should I scream? Fornicate with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. I'm trying to get loose without, you know, drawing his attention. To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. Okay, let's scream. But enough with the chit chat. I Not helping. Surgery, you see. Damn. So I take every opportunity to practice. It's gotta be something around here. I don't have any instruments here. So I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Oh, Holy shit! What the fuck? No! Medicine! Please don't! Please don't! No, come on! Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. What the Double fuck is going on? Off. That's our chance, come on. Try to get loose. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, medicine. Ah. Uh. It's not working! Hello, sir. I come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form scream, of scream. myths and Bibles, which I will Don't you hear it? With you. The leg. For a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks. Yes! Sir. Yes! Oh, slowly, come on, shit. I cannot come on. believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, his yes. humble flock, should walk in his steps for St. John himself. Thanks a lot. Slow. Perfect. Careful, medicine. Holy scripture will bring you peace. There you go. Hurry. I've got to do. Come on. We're not losing medicine. No way. Shit. Come on. Oh no, no, no. Punch him. Do something. Hmm. Shit. Oh my god, no. Yes. Again. Damn it, missed. Yes. Oh no. 
Hmm. Oh, damn it. Oh, I missed twice. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, no, I won't. Come on. It's moving too fast, I can see it! Oh no! Have I lost? Oh, I'm feeling sick! No, come on! Yes! Yes! Do it! Do it! Psycho! Wow! Oh my god, what a psycho! Wow, that scene was difficult! I mean emotionally! Eesh! Oof, still catching my breath. Blue Lagoon, ooh. Got something, we have a lead. Oh my god. I wonder what outcomes there are to this sequence and I'm afraid to know. I wonder but I'm terrified to know. I'm so glad it ended that way. Jeez. Eesh. Thursday, 2.18 p.m. 3.5 inches. Time is running out. Time is running out. I think now we're trying to locate the driver of the killer, right? Yeah, if I remember correctly, that's our last lead with Jaden. Okay, thoughts. Hold. rain. Soaking wet. Sean. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. Yeah, time Maybe is running out. The suspected is stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Hmm. Scrap is this? Out. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. Yeah. What about the drug? Okay. Got it in my pocket. Let's try not to use it. What about Blake? In the office in my I'm going over, you know, every single thought. I'm curious. Jeez, won't this rain ever let up? I won't be coming here on vacation. That's <laughs> goddamn true. You think? Mad, Mad Jack. Jack. A.K.A. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record as long as my arm. Better be careful. Withdrawal? Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Yeah, that's hope. Feeding. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. Bulldozer. The guy on the bulldozer. Okay, went over every single thought. So if this guy's, you know, nickname is Mad Jack, that can be a good sign, you know. Can you stop that thing? Hi. Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can you go inside? That's a yes. Great. That's better. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. 
I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. Oh, come a on. Bad memory for me. Yeah, right. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. We're not giving up. Right, Jaden? Okay. Investigating time. Footprints. Blood. Oh, blood. Why is there blood here? Ooh. Really? Where it leads? Seriously? You're burying bodies in here as well as cars? And that's what's going on? One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Mm. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Nice one, Jaden. Damn. The glasses. You have no idea how precious those glasses are. Eesh. Careful. <laughs> the button, sometimes it's moving too much and I cannot follow. But so far, we manage. At least in, in this section, I haven't missed anything. Fast, 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 fast. But let's not talk too soon, you know. <laughs> Enough fucking around. You're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Hmm. Persist? I've no time to lose, Jack. I wanna know who that car belongs to. Well, what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. Uh. Impress? Damn! You want that was impress. Mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Enough. I'm starting to remember some things. Ah, that's good. You be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. All right. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything? Oh no, Jaden. Damn, that's bad. Shit. Oh, I Anything know. you say, Cannon will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. That's so bad. The worst time in ever. Worst time in ever. Oh, he took it. I don't know how to feel about him taking that uh, blue drug. Tryptocaine, right? That's how you say it? Oh. Damn. Well, at least we got him to the station. We can question him further, you know? Now back as Shelby. Thursday. 4.13 p.m. Is 
So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. So yeah, that's... Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. The trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. <laughs> I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Okay. Let's get her something Great. to eat. So, I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go in my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. So, uh, what I was trying to say is that, uh, yeah, Gertie is a suspect. He's a suspect. My guess, it's not our guy though. Um, it, I don't know. Just me guessing. I don't know that. But his attitude, uh, it doesn't seem that, you know, calculated to me as that's what I think of the origami killer. But it's possible. Gordy is definitely a suspect. I need a frying pan. There you go. Maybe I'll make those as well after, you know, recording the video. Food in video games almost get me hungry as well. Flip it. Cooking simulator! <laughs> Why not? Thoughts? Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. <laughs> She's okay. I'm grown to like Lauren. And she really is trying to help. Okay, let's not overcook it. Okay, mm, what else can we do here? I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. I fun with it. Looks better on you. For sure. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. Well... What's that? The oh, you took it from the store place. owner. Oh, actually According that's great that you took it. About 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazine. Exactly what I thought. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. She's right. I think she's right. You know, maybe if the killer we really won't find used any matches, a royal but and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean that's just an assumption, but yeah, but yeah, it's worth trying. Let's give it a shot. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. Any luck? By her smile, I think we have something. 
Well done, Lorraine. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know died it doesn't when he was make 10? sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never uh. give up, do you? Interesting. Yeah, I think we should try. It's not. It could be a waste of time, but it also could be something. Time to look for John Shepard's grave. Yeah. How's he doing? <laughs> Feeling the rain. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. Yeah, but let's look around. What else? Kramer. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Come on. Could be a lead. Feeling? The sooner we find that grave, the sooner Excuse we can get me. the hell out of here. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy. Hey, Lauren! Oh, found it. I found it. John Shepard. Origami, get out of here! That's one hell of a coincidence. Yeah, what do you know? What do you know? These flowers are fresh. Looks like Ooh. someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin, that one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. 77? What? That's it? Yeah, I'm so oh, curious. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the flashback. Okay, Be you're it. seeing it. You lousy, no good brats. Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Interesting. Bet you can't catch me! Okay, thoughts. John. John's right. We can just stand here all day. What you doing? Oh, okay, John is the other kid. Play. Mom? Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Interesting. What if John never really died and became the origami killer? And everybody thought he was dead, that's why there is this tombstone? Let's find out what's going on. I'm curious. Very curious. John's Time? waiting to give me a boost. I better catch up. All right, here we go. What? I did not release it. Oh, it's repeatedly. Okay. They should have used colors or something to make it more easy. You know, to tell the difference between tapping repeatedly and holding it. Sometimes I don't pay enough attention to the triangle at the top. Ugh. Too fast? John is going too fast. He yeah. never waits for me. Should be careful. Very careful. This place looks dangerous. Wait up, John. Don't become the origami killer. Unless you really died, so... There's that option as well. <laughs> Move your ass. I'm waiting. It is going fast. Don't run through this big part. Come on! This one? Okay, hold it. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Hmm. 
Where to now? Where are we going? Bitch can't do that. <laughs> Doesn't look that complicated, to be honest. Go. Construction site is empty. Next for a great playground. Jeez, you're Where is he? nothing but a slow boat. Can you climb the stairs? Nothing but a slow boat. <laughs> Come on, loser. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what you doing? You're coming or not? Wait a second. I'm on my way. Here we go. Oh, careful. Let's not fall down. Yeesh. Okay, it's only right, left, right, left, so should be easy enough. There you go. Oh, stop running, man. Where is he now? <laughs> Here you go. You okay, kids? <laughs> He's still going. Is he training for the army? Look at him go. We are getting in shape. We made it. John. John, wait for me. He's like he's Get trying to get hurt. Got a death wish or something? Uh, oh no no how does it work okay I see I don't need to press anything just move the mouse okay okay got it got it I fell twice, on, but I did not fall time. down, so did not fall down, so I guess you cannot fall. Here we go. <laughs> Where is he now? Ah, can't keep up with this kid. What? Where? Wait a minute. <laughs> you are a piece of work. Here goes nothing. You both okay? <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. You go and count to twenty and try to find me, okay? One, two. Okay, I need to do it. Three, four. Faster, five, faster. Six, seven. <laughs> I can eight. cheat. Eh, no need. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, <laughs> I'm going through all the numbers. Bear with me. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Here we 20. go. Okay. 
I'm afraid we're gonna find this bad instead of him. Help? Oh, oh my god! Come on. That would be a terrible way to die. Damn. See what's going on here? I had to stop and share my thoughts. Looks like he's gonna die by drowning. Or somehow he survived. So I have two guesses. Either he died by drowning, so his friend, the friend that we are playing, became the origami killer to... I don't know why, because it was nobody's fault. It was John who fell down. Or John actually survived and became the origami killer. I still don't see the motive because it was nobody's fault. No, accidentally, am, yeah, you know resume the game sorry so what i was trying to say is that's, i still don't see the motive though because it was nobody's fault you know i don't see a reason for him to get vengeful i don't know that's strange the poor kid never did find any help and his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater the boy that lived what happened to him well all I know is he got separated from his parents. Uh huh. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be. Well, that's an interesting lead. Yeah, I think we're on the right path. Okay, so this is really interesting. I think we're on the right path. We have this name of John. We got him by crossing the names on the list, uh, you know, the origami list and that list of the typewriter owners. So that's a great lead. I think we're on the right path and apparently John is dead, but his brother is still alive. That's Christ, very interesting. Story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the Oregon killer? I think killer? it's very possible. Come on, let's get back in the car. I think it's very possible. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? His brother, obviously. <laughs> there she goes again. Surprising me. She's doing a terrific job. Like surprises. I think uh, it's thanks to her we got here and this is a fantastic lead. I think we are very close. She got the list and, you know, she was the enthusiastic insisting of trying it so yeah wait what's the matter Kramer man over there yeah it's Charles Kramer Gordy's father what's he doing here he's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave aha we are close. I think we are very close. Interesting. So it could be, you know, uh, John's brother was adopted. So if he was adopted, he could be named, you know, in any other name, as well as Kramer. It's very possible. Very possible. Now the Blue Lagoon. Over four inches. Jeez. Might be. That's, uh, you know, still another lead that we cannot cross out just yet. Even though I think uh, Shelby and Lauren got the closest so far. 
But eventually, I think, you know, uh, all those, you know, routes of investigation we are taking by Jaden, by Shelby, and now by Medicine, I think they are all eventually going to lead somehow to the same place and the same, um, you know, conclusion. I think that's where the game is going. That's our guy? Okay. That's not possible. Oh, come on. not to be disturbed. Damn. Can I... Sorry, lady. Fight against Sonya. Yeah. I could not cheat. Okay. Uh, what do we do now? Yeah, we need to distract him. Where is Lorraine when I need her? <laughs> Last time she did that perfectly. So maybe I can. Talk to someone else. Wait a minute. Maybe now that he's talking to someone. Oh, how she got in. I see where this is going. Plan? Okay. Gotta find some place to change. Maybe I could catch his attention by spreading his stuff in the I think she wants to change first. Okay, so I'm guessing the bathroom. So you're packing something else in that purse? What you gonna change into? Hmm. Time to play the sexy girl. <laughs> she is beautiful. I don't see a change, I'm sorry. Is it just me? She looks the same. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's not hurt her eye. Let's go carefully. So we went from a cooking simulator to makeup simulator. All right, here we go. Gently. What else can we do? <laughs> Look at me, I'm a makeup artist now. Okay, um, I see you can still go for the purse. Oh, that's something else completely. <laughs> okay, good to know we have that. Um, <laughs> I see what you're doing. That's commitment right there. <laughs> Looking sexy. And now I think we need to go and dance or something. Caught his attention. Okay. Let's see. I think I saw this platform I can stand on. Ah, let me pass. Uh, not easy to go through. Never liked clubs too much. Now you see why. I'm not good at this. Wait a second. No, I cannot stand on it. Maybe I'll just try to go and talk to him now that we have changed our appearance. Sexy dance. 
want it. Time to swim. Ah, yeah, over here. There you go. Oh, wait a minute. I need to get this right. Here you go. Yeah, he's looking. Yeah, I think we got it right. Ah, too bad I looked at him. Hey, you! That was easy. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Uh huh. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah. I like the way you move, Madison. You make me all hot under the collar. And maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private oh oh baby yeah come with me <laughs> okay this is no time to get squeamish even if my legs do feel like they're about to give way yeah this guy is truly revolting yeah oh yeah 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 where are the stairs where am i going lost them completely oops i don't know where the stairs are i messed up I can see them now. Got it. Follow. Yeah. There you go. Finally found the stairs. That was rough. <laughs> More challenging than I thought to find the stairs. Yeah, we should be careful here. I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything Sounds like right. a plane. Everything is going to be all right. Yeah. Should stay so, focused. Welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> That's a nice aquarium, though. Ugh. <laughs> Get in the way of good things, sweet cheeks. Poor medicine. So, show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off. Let's uh, buy some time. Uh, could... Could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink. To break the ice? Oh, we already broke the ice. Let's get wet. Do your thing. Speak. Uh, could could we just talk first? No, no. We don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. Ah, uh, this guy. Leave. I'm That's sorry. the only option. Uh, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look uh, I, I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. Where's your gun, medicine? We need I'm it now. I'm wasting my time. It's now or never. But I never take never for an answer. Where's your gun, medicine? Uh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Can't watch this. Wait a minute. Disgust? I'll puke if he so much as touches me. Where's the gun? Why aren't we going for the gun? Tech? Make a die for him. Go for the throat. I don't even think of it. He's just too tough. I wouldn't stand a chance. Too bad for her. This is a difficult scene. It's a difficult scene. Idea? Think of something. There's gotta be some way out of here. I thought we were carrying a gun. Call? I call for help. Oh, that's stupid. And the club. Music, who's gonna hear they won't me? hear it. Yeah. My bag's Back? too far away. I can't get to my gun. Oh, there it is. So else. I was asking where the gun is, like a million times. There it is. Um, time? Do what it takes, Mad. Play for time. How can we get for the gun? Poor medicine. Lamp? Lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I you know. can reach it, it's really close. Nice face. Grab it! Throw it at his face or something! Baby sweet cakes. You got it going on. In his face! Yeah! Yeah! Nice one, medicine. That's what I call kicking <laughs> butt. You go, girl. Nice one. Okay, act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. Did you tie him up or something? I hope she did. Thoughts. Wake wakey, up time. Wakey. I hope I didn't whack him too hard. Yeah, he's tied up. That's good. Harder. Ah! That's better. That would work. Rise and shine. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know what those options are. You can go down. There's the face. Okay. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to know about when I cash up with you. <laughs> Not bad for a chica. But you only wow, I hate him. He's a little bit, mama. Boss? Is everything all right? Busy? Clever. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. That worked. Oh, his face. If you value Cannot those stand him. balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. <laughs> That would work. Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, uh, I never said foot in that environment. That would hurt. Wrong guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. Ooh, what's his name? What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Yes, you do. Ah. 
Yes, you do. Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! John Shepard. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? We are getting close! Romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. <laughs> Let's hope we won't see him again. Ever. Investigation? John Shepard. Could that be the name of the killer? Guess I'll soon find out. Yeah. What else you're thinking? Conclusion. How about that? You didn't do too badly now, did you, girl? I think, yeah. You know what you're doing. Well, Method. that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> Paco. Next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick up to his office. Yeah, that's for sure. Time to get out of here. Yeah, let's leave before you cut loose. Can't you walk any faster? Come on, medicine. Where is the exit? I think I know where it is. Just <laughs> I need to pass through all those people somehow. You don't mind? I'm too old for this. Let me pass. Ah, oh, come on. Oof. Made it through. Well, we had to go through not an easy scene with this awful dude, but we made it and we got our name. And what do you know? It is John Shepard. Again, we get to the name John Shepard. So we are very close. Oh, and now Jaden is here. Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Yeah, right. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. Yeah, all the lines, all the paths that we took so far are kind of crossing and we are getting to the same conclusion with everyone. But we will pick this up uh, in the next episode. I think we did a lot today in terms of, you know, uh, how much we progressed in the investigation. I think uh, Shelby and Lorraine did an amazing job, especially Lorraine. You gotta give her credit for what she did today because thanks to her, we found out a lot about John Shepard and apparently his brother is the guy because John died and I'm guessing that his brother, you know, took the name and used it over time. And Madison questioned Paco and got again to the name John uh, Shepard. And now as uh, we're playing as Jaden, he also looking for Paco and I'm guessing he will find out about John as well because he got to Paco thanks to the driver, to the driver that we, uh, you know, interrogated earlier. So yeah, all the lines, all the paths are crossing as we progress more and more. Regarding Ethan, the first trial, we had to kill a man and I just could not do it. You know, he showed us the picture of the girls, of his daughters, but even before that, before he showed us the picture, I could not do it. I was not able to do it. It feels to me like this is the line that I'm not crossing in those trials. I hope it doesn't mean that we have doomed Sean. I'm really, really worried about that. But if the other guys, you know, Jaden, Madison, or Shelby and Lorraine would be able to get to the origami killer in time, maybe even though we did not do that trial with Ethan, we can still save Sean. That's what I'm hoping. But we'll have to wait and find out. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you.